I want MUI to win. Oh, the dodging! He looks like he makes it look so clean. Look at oh, the dodging looks so clean. What? Oh, it's showing the flashback back in the Bajin Boo arc. This is cool. Oh! Oh, finesse, finesse, finesse. Ultra Ego versus Ultra Instinct. Which one is better? An amazing animator by the name of Hyorin Jutsu has made it clear today. You guys don't know who this animator is? He used to make goated animations, and he still does. And uh, I used to, I've been watching him for a long time. You guys might know the video Goku vs. Goku is GT against Super and like the, I mean the manga version, they fight, it's amazing. And we're going to be reacting to his new animation, Ultra Ego Vegeta vs. Mastered Ultra Instinct Goku. I can't wait to see how this goes. His entire choreography and the way he animates is amazing, so go check him out. Link will be in the description below and in the pinned comment. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Gentlemen, please begin at full power. Alright, bet. Get ready for what's to come, Kakarot. Vegeta's gonna go Ultra Ego. Ooh! I love this form so much. Damn! Ultra Ego. Damn, bro. It looks so clean. It's been a while since he posted uh, Hyorin Jutsu, so I can't wait. Well, then, go ahead and show me that Ultra Instinct. Love how the music stops. Oof, the difference between us. So I don't need a flashy introduction to access my full power. Oh, he's winking. Ooh. Oh, look at that pressure. How are you going to handle that, Vegeta? Oh, you want a good. Okay. Here we go. MUI versus the Ultra Ego. Damn. The choreography. Oh, I love this already. Ooh, ooh. All right, Vegeta, come on. I want MUI to win. Oh, the dodging! He looks like he makes it look so clean. See, how are you gonna touch something you can't, you know? Oh! It broke his arm! Kakarot. This means I can't cut loose as much. Uh, I can cut loose as much as I want. Damn! Bro. Vegeta gets more power the more he gets damaged, so. Here we go. Ooh. The problem with, with Ultra Instinct is that. Oh, okay. Damn, Death Ball. Look, is punching through all of it. Bink. Look at. Oh, the dodging looks so clean. What? Okay, hold up, hold up, hold up. <laughs> oh my god. Bro, if you guys don't know, um, Vegeta went to Yodra and he actually learned what the Metamorans taught Goku and then some. So he knows the instant transmission, he knows a bunch of other techniques, and look at that. Goku was going to instant transmission and he knew, Vegeta knew. Look at this, look at this. Dodge. Oof. That's so cool! That's so cool! Damn, he got the punch in. Hakai energy. Just destroyed all of that. Alright, Goku dodging. Sheesh! Damn! I'm loving this, bro. I'm loving this so much. It looks Goku looks so elegant when he dodges, man. Oh, he, he got he wrapped him up. He wrapped him up. Oof. Vegeta, you won't last much against me. Your fighting style is too predictable. Predictable, you say? Oh, it's showing the flashback back in the Bajin Buu arc. This is cool. Yo, you're in Jutsu, man. Yo, you popped off with this. I, I, this looks so amazing. You may have always been one step ahead of me when we shared the same road, but we may, we no longer uh, share the same path and get stronger. In hindsight, under Barbadie's spell, I feel like I've already been introduced to Ultra Ego's mindsets. Okay. 
Interesting. That is true. Goku went in the path of the angels and Vegeta went in the path of, you know, God of Destruction. So, it's a bit weird. Like, Goku's situation is way more different, you know? So, I wonder how he's going to manage. Because, ooh! Because we got MUI, we got Ultra Instinct Sign, we got TUI Uppercut. Ooh! Oh, finesse, finesse, finesse. Bro, man, I love it. I've grown Goku's. Look how cool that looks. Damn! But Vegeta's a battle tactician, bro. How? Ooh! Okay, Vegeta. You know, you may, you may not be my favorite character, but, you know, but bro, you're my favorite character behind Goku. Like, this is... I don't mind who wins this, to be honest. Ooh. Okay. He mixed in the Hakai energy. Instant transmission. Oh. Almost like a god of destruction. Yep. He can just he can just Hakai all of that. Alright. Fool. Fighting techniques may work on you. Exactly, exactly. What he's saying is that binding techniques will work on Goku, right? Since, you know, all he all he has to do is dodge the move. But when he's binded, obviously he can't dodge. Uh, we saw that in the Moro arc, uh, when Moro binded, you know. Uh, but obviously, binding Vegeta with key moves, he can just uh, like erase all of that. So that's a that's a good touch you added there. Oh, -ho -ho. all right, Kamehame. We got three clones. All right, I love when Yaren Jutsu does this. All right, he's gonna make a barrier of Hakai energy. Ooh. Got it, we got ooh, Opry. Alright, yo, we got the Susano Goku. Exciting, Vegeta. I better be ca real careful or I'm out cold. Get ready. Yeah, bro, he's saying that he has more mastery than Goku since um that oh, is that the Ozaru? That's sick, that's so sick. Alright, let's see how this fares off. No way. Oh, he got him. Vegeta does have more time in Yardra, so... He has better mastery. Alright, he's going back to base. Ooh, Spirit Bomb. Okay. You know, sacrifice a bit of instinct, and then more power and more emotion. Okay. So, TUI. Let's see how TUI stands. I mean, in the manga, we did see TUI kind of being similar to if not stronger because he was able to take out uh, gas until he went really old but Ooh, okay yep damn but Vegeta absorbs that shit Ooh. more emotion Goku more emotion we did see in an emergency he had to go MUI though so ah oh, see look once he's caught on like that, he can't, abs uh, can't absorb the damage. Goku, damn! See, look, he had to go MUI. He had to go MUI. See, this isn't like an emergency tactic. It's not gonna work. Ooh! Ooh! <gasps> ah, Goku. I didn't think about this matchup in my head. Vegeta knows what path he's already in, where Goku has so many variations of MUI. You and I are both on that's not your limit. Get up and fight me, Kakarot. Can't afford to waste any more stamina than I already have. All right, let's go Omen. This feeling of Brimiki, Vegeta, when did you manage to pull this off? So you finally noticed. Look above you. War Spirit Vision. Oh my, bro. Goku can't use TY. Well, Goku can't use TY, bro. I mean, he can't use the power. Damn. Okay. He, he's just. Oh, he keeps absorbing the Spirit Bomb energy. And it won't be able to work. So now Goku has to use base, like, M, uh, uh, UI and MUI. He won't be able to use his raw emotions here in this battle. Goku, how are you gonna fend this off, bro? How are you gonna pull this off? He added his own energy to the spirit bomb, damn. You're finished! 
Goku. Oh, I actually don't think he can do it. Vegeta right now is the better fighter, unfortunately. Oh. Dirty fireworks. Okay, nice addition. Nice addition. You, ha you have to yeah, find your own path to Ultra Instincts. Yeah, that is correct. See, look. Vegeta's already found that path that he needed. And Goku's still in that... He still doesn't know yet. We, we haven't really seen what his mastered form is. Because the white hair version obviously has his limits. Because he can't use his more strength, you know. He has to sacrifice... Uh, you know, does he want to avoid more? Does he want to inflict more damage? Well, Vegeta is just freaking absorbing that shit and outputting more, you know? See, I had known my path of destruction long before I got this form. Exactly. Exactly. That's why you won't win against what I am now. There's a lot of debates out there, but when I watch Hyoren Jutsu animated like this, I kind of get it. In the manga, they were shown as supposed equals, but I do feel like Vegeta has way more durability. And with his abilities, damn. Oh, not gonna lie, Goku. It looks like you're. And this is supposedly after the Black Freezer encounter. Vegeta, he has succumbed to his ego and he's gonna. Oh, wait, he's gonna kill Goku? What the heck? Nah, he won't do that shit. He's toying with him. He's messing with him. Say goodbye, Kakarot. Yeah. See, Veg Vegeta even understands. Like, he gi he's giving him respect. He really did change. Yeah, see? He's giving the way respect is due. Thank you, Vegeta. Okay. You know what? I'm not mad about it. As much as I am a Goku fan, this made so much sense. Yeah, but look, Vegeta's th thinking about Black Freezer, bro. Like, he has his mindset on. Like, even in the manga, even in the manga, he know like, Goku's out here eating with Beerus, and Vegeta's actually just thinking about Black Freezer, and how he's going to adapt to fight this beast. Because he one-tapped TY and e Ultra Ego when they were healed by Monaito, and it was crazy. What an amazing animation, Hyojin Jitsu, bro. Amazing animation. Like, you you popped off. You popped off. Honestly, that was amazing. Everyone go check him out in the description below. Top tier stuff, bro. I love your stuff. Please keep it up, man. If you guys enjoyed, please subscribe. And if you guys want more reactions like this, let me know in the comments below. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys later.